welcome to the legendary Reno Air Races and today I will introduce to you the SW51 Mustang 007 which is the latest generation in our aircraft program and I will walk around and show you all the details about that aircraft. Let's go! Why we call it 007? Because this is the serial number 7 and it is the third aircraft which we have fully built and which is flying. Let's have a look uh, all around the aircraft. What we can see here is the oil cooler. So here's the inlet for the oil cooler in its original position. Down there you can find the water radiator which we install in the famous belly scoop as it was installed in the original. We also see here um, air inlets for the intercooler which is useful to cool the air for the turbocharger and also fresh air for the cabin as well the uh, air for the combustion of the engine. Our four blade MTW36 uh, propeller from MT Propeller it's composite made and constant speed operated by the hydraulics. Also our exhaust pipes, actually those are just for show. The real exhaust pipe is down here, but our fake exhaust pipes look like the original even with the welding seam which you can find here. The entire aircraft is full of details. We have about 100,000 surface details all over the place. The landing gear is very wide track. We do uh, Behringer brakes and Michelin tires. Those are aviation grade and they are globally supplied. That is a great uh, feature because this is a rear and tier part of course and that you get kind of everywhere. And now we are at the right spot to have a look on this incredible paint scheme. The paint scheme is brand new. We have defined and refined it over the years and what you can see is the weather polished aluminum. Here in this pattern around the exhaust pipe you can see the so-called smoke titanium uh, color. And that one was the paint scheme for the yellow jacket. So all the airframe was painted in that way. And now we applied further layers of chromium color to make it lighter. Let's have a look to the machine gun pots. Actually, we don't install a machine gun, but we do install landing and taxi lights. And the landing lights, they come with a flash function in the machine gun frequency. It's a pretty cool feature, especially when, when you fly during sunset or so, it just looks cool. I love the detail. Navigation strobe light you can find here. The wingtip we now painted in a black color. It can also be another color or the same color as the rest of the airframe. Also, the roundel can be customized depending on, on your idea. And uh, invasion stripe, here we have a black stripe. Uh, you can also do different stuff. The only thing what we can't do is to paint it totally black. That is impossible because of the composite material, but black uh, design elements can be done, as you can see. To the outside of the aircraft, maybe one important thing. This aircraft we first time registered here in the US with a November registration. And also the tail number is a great fit to the, to the 007 as it's November 51007. And one more detail to the rudder. The rudder in the original Mustang was made from fabric. This rudder is made from carbon fiber, but it still looks like fabric. So we imitated the fabric stitching. So even here we are true to scale and fully authentic. Another nice feature here at the empennage are the electrical trims of rudder and elevator. Uh, also the autopilot is, we have a two axis autopilot here on the elevator and on the aileron. But here that one you can trim electrically as well the rudder as you usually have a little left deflection to keep it a little bit right. You need a little right rudder during takeoff and to compensate that the electrical trim is a nice feature here as well. Now I'm standing on top of the wing and actually here is the cockpit where I can access the pilot seat which is in the front or also the passenger seat which is in the back which can also be uh, used by the co-pilot as we have full control on both seats. Let me quickly introduce you to some main elements in the cockpit. Let's switch on the cockpit and the avionics. So master switch. Now I switch on FS1 which is that screen. The Garmin G5 is loading automatically. We also have strobe, landing, nav light and taxi lights are here on the stick. All right, here we are with our Garmin 10 inch. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Go away man, prop clear. 
So this is how I can taxi. It's pretty cool, as you can see, the guys who may run into your propeller. Uh, to avoid that, we have that camera. I can also make that arrangement. You can totally change it. It's really customizable. Also the engine indication, fuel. Here you can see your fuel. Also once the engine is running, you can see the fuel consumption, the oil, the, the fuel pressure, your temperatures and also the EGTs. You, we also have a fuel calculator here. Also the autopilot can be operated by that menu here. If we go to flight controls, I can switch on autopilot and do all my stuff here. The trim is indicated here, also the flap here. You can now see flap, flap is full, uh, full down. So it's flap three and also the, uh, I can show you the trim. Power gradient you can find here. Actually, that is my power lever, the black one. And down here is the propeller lever. Also a friction lever, does just to adjust the, the friction here and the tail lock mechanism. Locked, unlocked. Document pouches, uh, adjustable rudder pedal for the rear pilot. I also have adjustment here in the front for the front rudder pedal. We have emergency release handles for the landing gear, air vents. Uh, you can see cockpit heating, cockpit cooling. Blue is cooling, red is heating. You can also mix it. Park brake, fuel selector, emergency uh, release for the parachute, the cap. Also on my stick, you have many functions. You can also customize it a little bit, depending on that what is installed. Here's now autopilot disconnect. If you don't have an autopilot, you can do something else in there. Compass with its deviation table. The engine panel you can find here with my fuel pumps, ignition, uh, start, the run up of the engine and the master at all. And my circuit breaker panel. Here you can find all essentials and the non-essentials down there. On that side, you can also find an air vent, which provides you with fresh air. And our headset panel is the rudder pedal for the rear passenger, the right one. And now let me close the canopy for you. I close it, I put it here in the rail, and now I just move it forward. All right, closed, closed, let's have fun. <laughs> so you can see we came a long way uh, from the yellow jacket uh, number one to the 007, we've made many, many improvements, refinements, optimizations, and we have installed many new systems. And I hope you liked it. If you have any further question regarding the aircraft, just let us know, send us a message, call us, check out our videos. And yeah, let's take it from there and see you next time in the next episode. Thank you.